Now this is what I'm using currently right now. I'm using this Kills. It comes, it comes in uh, oil and it comes in a, two or three different kinds of latex, which means water-based. Now this is called a primer sealer stain blocker, which it does. The thing about it is, if you have an oil ba or a water-based paint with a water-based stain in it, the, what the oil does is gets between that and completely blocks it. Otherwise, you can have some stains where your water-based new paint will do the same as the old paint. The stain will come right through it. Another good thing that this is good for that I have I have found personally is I had a my mother had a uh, three or four cats in a downstairs uh, she had a cat box downstairs at the base of her stairs and there was concrete underneath that cat box and her and her husband are very very old in their 80s see how that makes noise Isn't that cool things that go through the air reverberate sound anyway I took the carpet off and all that years of cat piss and all that other great stuff were just reeking the only way that you could block that reek after I cleaned the concrete about a million times was to put a stain blocker in it now this right here is an oil based stain blocker there is one that's better and that's from the old school and that is called a shellac blocker and it's shellac base and I believe a shellac base comes from a shell some kind of a shell or snail or something like that it is the nastiest smelling stuff on the planet and you have to wear a respirator to put it on even when you're not spray painting it because it's so nasty but when the shellac dries it is like an impervious cat piss blocking dog crap blocking smell uh, eliminator that you've ever seen so if you have a problem with concrete like here you're uh, inside and it's been saturated by years and years of cat or dog mess and you wanna you wanna you wanna fix it before you recarpet you use the stain blocker shellac then carpet is normal and the stain and the smell will go away if you don't it'll just come right back oh there's the, the Austrian spy cat she's on the prod again looking for something else she's looking for that squirrel and what I'm gonna do over here for, with these cats because they're really nice cats I got them my mom picked them up my mom's kind of weird. She picked them up from uh, Spokane, which is about a six hour round trip, brings them home and says, well, my other cats don't like them. Do you want them? I said, fuck yeah, I want them. These are apple head. And of course this one is uh, mechanical. It's got steel teeth. What I'm gonna do is right up on this edge right here, I'm gonna take one of the, right on this edge up here, I'm gonna take one of these old fence pieces and I'm gonna nail a flat piece right here so they can walk along the fence. That way they can patrol the neighborhood and do it in style. How are we doing, Kitty? Kitty, look up here. Come here. You want to get fed? I'll take you back to the orphanage, you little bitch. Glue factory. Glue. Glue. Okay, it's back to painting. <laughs>